What's up team, welcome back. This 60 minute total body power hour workout is going to be a serious sweat fest. We have six full body circuits to get through. You're gonna see four moves, 40 seconds of effort with a 20 second transition and two rounds. Equipment is a variety of dumbbells, a mini band or booty band, a mat, and your amazing body. Get ready guys, it's gonna be a killer team, so make sure you do listen to your body and take breaks when needed. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're not missing any workouts. And if you want more content, all I gotta do is hit that join button below. All right, you guys, go ahead and roll your shoulders back. Set that intention. We're gonna have a great workout. Four minute warm up. We're gonna squat and then good morning. Squat, hands behind the head, drop the chest. In your good morning, soften the knees. When you rise up though, I want you to feel like you're pressing into the heels and pushing your knees back. Finish that. Good morning. Lunge back, left leg. Make it a crescent lunge so the leg stays straight. Push the heel back and then switch. So that you really open up the front of the body. Stretch out your calf. Step out wide, sumo squat, chest opener here. Drop, open the chest. Pull your elbows to your back pockets. We're gonna be starting this workout with two blocks of compound movements to really stoke your fire. Get to the back of your mat. You're gonna walk out inchworm. Walk yourself back, bend the knees, and then reach all the way up. all the way back down into your plank. We're gonna go into bird dog. So knees down, hands on your shoulders, around the back. And then open the chest, eyes up. One more. Turn the fingers to face your knees, a little stretch in the wrist, kind of lean back. Down dog, hands go out in front, lift the hips up, walk your dog, lift the heels up and down. Hold your down dog. Roll up, you're gonna kick with that right foot, little march, kick, march, switch the legs. Big kick, get that hamstring warmed up here. You're gonna march or jog to finish this off. Oh yeah. Just a reminder, each move is 40 seconds with a 20 second transition. You're gonna go for that moderate heavy load. The first block, we're using our mini band and it can be either just below the knee or above the knee.
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that band, place it on, grab your weights for a step out squat, curl press. That is that first movement that we're gonna be doing here. I'm gonna be using my 20s. I'm gonna put my band just above the knee. Weights are in your hands. Step out to that right. Step in, curl, and press. To your left. Band is optional, so if you don't have one, don't worry. You could definitely do this without. It's just gonna add a little resistance to your glutes. To make it harder in the band, it should be lower if you want it. Great job. We're going to do a drop squat holding one dumbbell. I'm going to use a 15. Just remember, this is not for everybody. So you're going to drop in that squat and then hop it back in. You could lower the weight down and then pull it up, or you can step it out, step it in. So I'm out, in. And it's like a slow, right? You're gonna pause when you come in. Take your option. I'm holding a 15 pound dumbbell. Band goes mid calf, plank with a leg lift, right left. Actually, it's a push up with that leg lift. So come into your plank, knees or toes for the push up, then you hold plank, lift right leg, left leg. So push up, one leg, then the other. up those glutes and the whole entire body. Keeping the band on, we got jumping jacks. Put it either again above the knee or below, wherever it's gonna stay for you. All right, you can tap or fold jump. All right, big arms. Round two here. I'm gonna put my band a little lower. I am gonna keep my 20s. Step out squat. Curl press. Roll your shoulders back. Stepping out right. In curl press. your heels when you're squatting. Use that core to help pull the weight up, especially if you got 
Really good heavy load here. Drop squat, one dumbbell or no weight. I'm gonna keep my band down there. How about you? All right, shake it out a little bit here. Drop down, zip up. It's like a low jack here. Side. Watch that hand, right? Make sure your waist in front of you. Push your hips back. Push up with that leg lift. That was getting tough, huh? Keep up. Ooh. Keep up. Get your plank one push up. Keep up. And then lift front leg, back keep leg. Up. Yeah, you keep it back and back your problems like a bit for me to solve them. Keep it back and back your problems like a bit. All right, drop chest to elbow height. And really squeeze the booty. Keep it back and back your problems like a bit. Go at a pace that is challenging you. just to mid calf that keeps a lot of tension on there right this is the end of our block one you guys by using the band in your jacks. Super, we're gonna keep the intention coming here. Band off, new move, infinity lunge. Weight is in the right hand, I'm gonna do 15. High lunge back, left foot. Swing the weight around behind my head. Lunge back, weight drops to the hip. Left leg lunges, lunge back, circle in front, behind, and switch. And you go to where you feel you can, around the body, and switch. When it's a new move, it might take you a couple of times to get it. This one you want to have moderate heavy. I think I could go heavier. We got a doubles press. It's a burpee that's jacked up on weights, right? You're gonna do a push up at the bottom of that burpee, and then you're gonna come up and press it to the sky. You can always squat lunge. You don't want to hit the ground. Everybody knows where they're going. Hands go down. Jump back, push up. Jump forward. Swing all the way up. You don't want to be on the ground. You can squat and lunge. So you have that option.
Really brace your core when you're coming up from that ground, protecting your back. Whoa, that was good, wasn't it? One heavy dumbbell, squat, knee twist, and then the other side. I'm gonna do 120. It's gonna be hard, but you can take it. Open your feet up and squat. Weight up at the chest. Drop down, twist. And if one weight is not heavy enough for you, second round, hold two weights. Your eyes up the whole time. I'm gonna lighten my load. I got three pound weights in my hands. I'm gonna side bend for two with one kick, and then you side bend in the other direction. We'll start by bending to the right. Towards Carol. Right. Now lift left leg, reach left side. One, two, lift. Lots of core here and balance. Turn up to round forward. Your eyes should be forward too, looking straight out in front. Infinity lunge coming back. I'm gonna go for my 20. Remember, if anytime you get confused, just do like a basic movement. You could just do a lunge. Weight is in your right hand. Left leg is gonna lunge back. Drop, power through. Definitely the heavier is better for me. Keep it inside so you see where I'm going. Behind the head. Chest is up. Good to look in that direction. Swing it around to the other side, come on. Devil's press. Or you do your squat lunge. This is how we do though, right? Ready? Let's do it. Drop, push up. When I come down, it's a little swing the weights forward, then jump back. Before you swing, eyes go up. That is how we do it here. Squat knee. I'm gonna use 215s, I want it a little bit heavier. Weight is up in front of the chest. Drop, knee. Right, you made the effort to hit play. With all that effort now, you're picking those weights that challenge you. Right, ring out that waist.
Should be big exhale here. Oh my gosh. Side bends. We'll go to Diane first. Two bends. And then that right leg lifts. Open your feet up. Star, reach. You could do this without weight too. Now here's the deal. We're gonna try to hit one more block before we have a break. Can you do that? But I always sip some water in that 20 seconds too. All right, we got a gorilla row. Start with the weight up by the chest, alternate those rows. I'm gonna use my 20s. Drop the chest, weight up, one arm, and then the other arm. Now, if you can, right, you're gonna drop your back as flat as you can, sink into the heels. If your back is sensitive, then have it up a little bit, so you'll get more, and it's flatter. Pull the belly in. Pull the elbows up. And then we're gonna kind of reverse this move for the chest with everything down, even your legs. I'm gonna keep my weight, come on your back. Everything is down, even your legs. Think opposite, arm and leg. If you want more, the feet stay off the ground. All right? We're gonna start with the back arm first and the front leg. Elbows off the floor. Keep your elbows off the floor though. Now here's the, here's the challenge. Legs don't touch. If you did the four week strength series, we did a lot of these leg movements. So you should be strong. Don't let your elbows touch the floor. Keep your arms kind of tucked in. You got things to prove. Push through the heel of the hand. And then we don't go very far. Seated shoulder press. We're gonna sit with our legs out in front. I'm gonna do 15. Knees can be bent. Waist up by the shoulders. Eyes up. Punch it up. Whatever feels good to you. You can have straighter legs. Catherine, you must have tight hip flexors. Ooh. Just be careful of your back too. You can always stand up if you need to. This really isolates. Right. Standing up for bicep curls. Oh, nice job. I'm gonna use my 20s. Make it the hardest version that you can. So if you need to, it could be hammer curl or it could be palms up curl. I'm gonna do an upturn, I got 20s here. If you have lighter weights at home, palms stay up the whole time. You go at your pace, I might be a little slower. So I want you to pay attention to the workout, like how I made it for you. We really stoked the fire in the beginning. 
Now we isolate and then we stoke it again. And then we finish with a little ab blast. Great job, Gorilla Row. Remember, when we get a second round, that means give me what you can. Turn it up. Grab your weights. Weights up by the hips. Drop your back as flat as you can. Front arm drop. Back arm. Things that can make it feel different is definitely your weight selection, your tempo, and the range that you're going in. Great job, here comes that chest press. Everything is down. You guys feeling okay? At home, you're good? Elbows off the floor. Give me the elbows out a little bit. Back leg or back arm, whatever you wanna go. As long as it's opposite. And then if you want the legs to not touch the floor, Are you moving your feet? Are you drinking your wine? Oh, come on. Seated shoulder press. Oh, yeah, right? I do need to drop to 12 and a half. Just because it's so hard, right? When you sit. Weights are going to be up. But again, you can always stand up if you need to. Get that full range all the way up. Chin is lifted. Struggling? Ooh, it's going down here. I'm gonna get one more. How about you? Oh, great job. Bicep curls. Soften those knees, roll the shoulders back. Pay attention to your grip. That's something that we lose as we get older. You want to have good grip strength. Even think about your pinky finger. I've said it before. off because then you're going to take some good intake of water, towel off, you're ready for the second half. Nice job. Whew, we are halfway there, you guys. You're doing amazing. So again, just towel off, hydrate, and we're going to get ready for a little bit more legs here. We're going to go into a sumo squat that's like a half range to really intensify it. knees in my hands in front of my chest. We're going to drop pause in that sumo squat and then come up halfway. Drop hold halfway. We're going 
you're dropping and holding, make sure your knees are pushing outward a little bit. Yeah, we're really isolating it for you, Catherine. Oh, yeah. Reverse lunges, front of your mat, step back, front foot, step it in, and then switch legs. Ooh. Feet are separated, roll it back. Pull the belly up and in, step back, lunge, and switch. Bending both knees, keeping your eyes up, Push in the front foot as you come forward into that front of your mat. One dumbbell, open the feet up. I'm gonna do a 15 Cossack squat. Turn your feet slightly out. You shift over to the right leg, and then the weight goes up, rainbow, to the other side. Start with your weight on your right shoulder, drop, bring it up, and then over. And then find where your feet need to be. Push your hips back. Curtsy lunges. I'm gonna go back to my 20s. You need to hold one at the chest. Step back the left leg, pause. Come up and over to the other side. All right, dramatic pause. Push into that front heel. Ooh, sometimes you go all the way down, right? But it's good, we're working on a little bit of stability. Try to think about when you come up more from the front leg versus pushing off the back leg. Super top from the top. Sumo squat, low hold, halfway up. Weight is up. Feet are out. Drop pause. Halfway up. Again, I'm getting low. I'm really pushing my knees back when I'm there. Press through the heels to rise up. Sweet spot right there. Get your body back a little bit. You almost hold your breath down there, don't you? Lunges to the back. I'm going to load up my dumbbells. I'm going to do a double 20 and an 8. Here we go, step it back. So I do have a, almost like 28 pounds in each hand here. Just 
one a little bit heavier. at least once or twice a week. Curtsy lunges. I'm gonna make my dumbbells heavier again. make the best out of it, right? Let's go with that left leg curtsy. Because when you do with a heavier weight, like, oh my gosh, more activation. But there are days when sometimes you need a little less. Today is the day I need a little more. I hold my breath when I'm at the bottom. Nice job. All right, we're going to go into some more upper body focused push up with a lap pole. So you come into almost like a super, keep your feet on the floor. Make sure you have room for your arms. Start with your hands by your shoulders. If you're down on the ground, press yourself up, and then arms go out, reach. While my arms are reaching, my toes stick into the floor, my butt squeezes. Don't rush this one. I'm up, I'm down, squeezing the booty, reaching. Flip it. You're welcome, you get to lie down. <laughs> Skull crushers. I'm gonna do 15. You wanna make it harder? Palms face the back of you. Legs can be up. So, palms face me, thumbs out. I bend my elbows and press it up. Inhale, lower down, press back up. If you need a back break, drop your feet. Again, my thumbs are out, pinkies are in. It's a reverse grip, it's called pressure. A little different, a little harder, I think it's harder. Ooh, that was tough for me. Okay, we're coming up around the world, so lighten your load with an upright row. I'm gonna use eight. Arms go long away from the body. And then I do upright row. If that's not good for your shoulders, just do a little lateral raise and an upright row. All right, so here's your pull around the world with an upright row. 
Or you just do a side raise, like halfway up, and then an upright row. Really important to control the down movement. So as I come down, I'm controlling. Next one, two, lots of arms, reverse plank climber, or you can bridge, but you're gonna have your hands by your shoulders, your hips are lifted, your legs are extended out, and you alternate knees to the chest. Hands can face out or to your feet. Hips are lifted, front knee, back knee. Not only the arms, but guess what? Your backside, your hamstrings. Try to get those hips up in between, right? So a little, push them up for a moment. And lift that leg. Again, you could be on the ground right here too. You could be on the ground, hips lift. You thought we were done, Jen? Yeah, that was a good idea too, right? Okay, we are moving into that reef. Back to the top, so flip yourself over. We get that push up with the lat pole. <laughs> Start on the ground. Wiggle your hips, toes dig into the ground. Press yourself up. Arms go out, T reach. Skull crushers. I think I'm gonna go 12 and a half with that reverse grip. <laughs> Bringing that weight down toward the forehead. Option with legs up or down. Remember, you can have a dramatic pause when you lower it, and then press it all the way up to the top. If your legs are up, your tailbone is tucked. Here we go with that upright row. This 
is definitely one of those exercises you don't do on your own, right? It's good to throw it in there. Make us do it. Come on, Carol. Get those hips up for me. There we go. Push them up. Nice job. All right, we're going to quickly transition into an alternating snatch. Get excited. This is your last block, you guys. I'm going to use a 20. This one, we're going to rev it up a notch here, right? Weight is down. Snatch, drop, switch. I'm going to do a little double squat here or put the weight all the way down. You can put the weight down, grab it from the bottom, or drop it into your hand. Keep your eyes looking out in front when you're dropping down. Power to the top, come on. All right, we're gonna side kick right, left, right, and then squat to the left. If you wanna add your light weights, I'm gonna use my threes. We stay on that same side. Right, left, right. One, two, three, drop. You could do a little pop to kick. Burpee. When you come back into that burpee, I want you to give me one jack in that plank position, and then you come up and you jack. You can stay standing in jack or skaters. Yeah, you can do skaters. Okay, choose what you want. Jump back, jack, jump out, in. Super job. That felt forever. <laughs> I don't know about you. Here we go. Snatch. I was looking at the timer. How about you? How are you like, Michelle, how much longer we got? <laughs> Halfway through this one, you guys. Snatch it. All right, power from the bottom. Come on. Whoa. Should be like that, right? <laughs> Making that noise. Press into your heels. Come on, one more. Yes. Oh, yeah. Side kick left, right, left. Squat your right. I'm going to be off my mat so I don't trip on anything. One, two, three, squat. Get 
that range. Really working the waist. And of course your legs here. And your heart. Burpees, you guys. Ooh, we missed one. We gotta do squat jumps. We'll throw it in here. Weight will be up at the shoulders. You don't have to use the weight. I'm gonna do eight in each hand. You're gonna hold at the bottom of the squat and then you're gonna jump. You know your surface. Be forward. Drop. And then jump. Hold. You just do calf raise. Sit back in your heels. Nice job. Oh, this is going to be tough, you guys. Burpees with the plate jack, and then we go back to that. You can do it. Take a deep breath here. Option to skate. You can add your weights. Stay with weights. Remember, plank, feet go out in. And when I come up, in, out. Okay, we got that squat jump. My weight's up at the top or no weight. Eyes are lifted. Oh, we sit back now. Hold that squat for a moment. Hold it. Jump. Hold. One more, come on. Wow. Who is right? Walk around. Get ready for some core. You did great. We got 30 seconds of effort, 10 second rest. Come on, you're back. We're going right to it, you guys. Four minutes of abs. Feet are up. Knees are open, hands behind the head. Diamond heel taps. Oh, exhale up. Keep your chest lifted, just move those legs. Heels together, knees out. Okay, one and done, you guys. Hold that bug. Head down. Bicycle is next. Hands behind the head, chest up. Turn to the front, bicycle, and to the back. Can you keep your elbows wide? Right 
right side forearm plank. Drop the hips, lift the hips and kick. Hips down, hips up. Get your oblique and we're gonna hit some top core and hip. I like my elbow turned in, hand out. Feet in line with hips and shoulders, knees forward. Push your shoulder down. Spin it around. Now, if you have extra time on your hands, you can repeat the core section. Remember, this is a one and done. Diving deep into the waves, babe. I know that you want it to. It's and again, look at my elbows and my hand is out. That helps my shoulder. Even if it's over soon. Want you skin tight, close like then. Seated, tuck, you lean back, hands wide. Right, we go out with the knees, in with the knees. Hands wider than your mat. Out, tuck in. If it's only for tonight, A bit mount climbers, you guys. Finish us off. 30 seconds. Floor fast. You choose your tempo. You know I'm the one for you. I won't tell nobody. Keep it on the down low, just as you. Want you skin tight, close like. Yes, we are done. Sit back into your heels. Go ahead and get to all four. Round your back, exhale. Focus on your breath. Inhale, arch. One more. Down dog. Front leg is up to single dog. Push the back heel down. Press through the hands, push back. And he comes forward to pigeon. Chest really lifts here. So really lift up the chest. Take a big inhale, then as you exhale, drop the chest down. Take that back leg, swing it out to the side. I think we should all be okay, right? Swing it out to the side. And we're set up into straight leg stretch. So I'm gonna come down to that leg. And I guess I'm on, on that same front. Low back. And then swing the leg back. We're gonna go to mermaid. Push the hips up, reach and then come down, kind of an angled, dropping the chest. And then step it back into plank. And then we'll go down dog again. Back leg single dog, drop the front heel, push back. Knee forward into pigeon. Chest is up, really press and lift. And then big inhale, exhale as you drop.
And then you're gonna take that leg and swing the one that's in the back. Swing it out. And then dropping chest to straight leg. Swing it back for mermaid. And then push the hips up. And then kind of lower hips down, reaching to the back corner. Pushing yourself back into plank. Hips go up to down dog, wide feet, so straddle, walk back. Grab the back leg, and then you're gonna bend the front knee. And then you're gonna switch. You go back to straddle. Walk those feet in. Roll yourself up. Oh, fix anything. Side stretch, grab that right wrist. Ground through the feet, up and over. And a little bit of push of the hips forward. Release. Other side. Lunge back with your left leg. Here's that crescent lunge again. Reach it up. And then come down into a full lunge. Sink in the hips, you can add a twist. Stay there, let the hips drop. Step in, crescent first, so step back, reach up. And then come down all the way, sink in the hips and then you can add twist. Step in, roll up. You did amazing. You should be so proud of you. That was a tough workout today. Big inhale, reach it out, reach it up. Reach it back. Pull it into your heart. Big inhale. Let it go. Oh my gosh, yes. Ooh, do you feel magical too? Does your body feel a little magic here? Yeah, you guys did amazing. I always make sure you thumb it up. Comment below, and if you haven't yet, if this is creating value in your life, all I ask you to do is hit that subscribe button and the bell. It helps me to keep creating free content for you guys. I love you. I love my crew too. They're awesome. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Cheeky. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Catherine. You guys, you're welcome. You guys have an awesome day and we will see you back at the next workout. Take care.